So you're getting married in Athens, Georgia, and you still haven't organized your makeup. Well, here at Eliana Cosmetics, we're all about makeup, we're all about you, and we're all about the bride. Most of our brides come in wanting to look like themselves, and they just want to look like the best version of themselves. They might have pretty eyes, good structure, pretty lips, and they want to pop that one feature. So we're all about working with each bride individually, making it all about her, and making her feel like she's just come off the cover of Vogue for her wedding day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you our most popular look for our brides, which is looking like you, but just adding something. So Ansley's our model today, and we're going to get started and make her feel like she's a bride. So I'm going to get started on Ansley, and we're going to just start doing her makeup, and we're going to give her a really pretty bridal look that's a little bit sexy, but mostly a little bit glamorous, which is what most girls want. So we're going to get started with putting some foundation on, and we're going to mix the colours to get as close to Ansley's natural skin colour as possible. So now we're going to start applying her foundation and we use our sponges which we call a thingy and as you can see it's already really nice and relaxing. <laughs> but this is what gives us a nice airbrush finish without it being thick and heavy. So like we're doing with Ainsley it's really important to make sure we know what the bride wants and the biggest part of that is making sure we do a trial. It gives us time to get to know each other, to ask you all the questions and essentially play with your makeup look for the day. So it means on the day of your wedding, there's no stress. You sit down, you know exactly what we're doing, we already have a bit of a relationship, and generally I'm the last person you see before you get dressed. So the fact that it's easy and stress-free, you know exactly what we're doing, I know what we're doing, it means that the bride has a chance to relax and enjoy that part of her day and the pampering. So it's really important with our brides that we set the foundation, particularly with summer brides. With a summer bride, we'll triple set the foundation. It's about how the makeup's applied, and it's really about doing lots of thin layers. One big heavy layer is only going to end up with it feeling cakey and wet. So when we're doing bridal makeup, we do lots of thin layers and make sure that the bride's nicely powdered for the day. We also give nice tips about when you start to cry, you want to, you know, pat your makeup, don't wipe. Same if it is one of those really hot summer Georgia days that you just want to pat, don't wipe. <laughs> contouring is a big trend at the moment and you've got to be a little bit careful with contouring for things like weddings where the bride's going to be photographed from many different angles. Contouring is great but you want to do it in a way that it still looks very natural. We always want to make sure we fill our bride's brows in. Brows are really important. Loving the trend that the brows are back in. Brows are full again and they shape your face. It's really important as a bride to look after your brows and lead up to your wedding and to make sure that you do them at least a week before. So that way they're nice and settled, the skin around them settled from where they've been plucked and waxed because your brows really do shape and frame your face. The eyes, which is always the fun and exciting part where everything starts to come together and we start to get that pop and dimension. When you're looking at pictures for your wedding about what you like, also be aware sometimes of what you don't like. That can tell your makeup artist just as much information about what you want on your day as what you do like. Also have to remember that the girl in the picture might have a different face shape, a different eye colour, different skin colour. So you always want to be aware that you're not going to look exactly like the picture, but you may like the overall look. And that's what your makeup artist wants to work towards. Yes, we always use waterproof on the brides when it comes to mascara. It's about the only time that I think waterproof is a good idea. So picking a lip colour for your wedding day is really difficult. It's actually also really important. The colour that you put on your lips will actually change the way you feel about yourself. That can take us the longest part of any trial, funnily enough, can often be the lip colour. So let's get started and find a colour.
we're really hard on ourselves as women and we quite often don't see the best things about ourselves because nobody ever thinks to tell us. And that's what I wanted to do, is to make all women feel good about themselves, whether it was every day or on a special day. So the goal here at Eliana Cosmetics with every bride is to make her feel amazing on her wedding day. We work with her to make it all come together so she's the centre of attention and it's all about her. We want every bride to be her own kind of beautiful.